People got away with, with murder. Newspapers, uh, several newspapers, were quite disgusting, I, I thought. Newspapers were the source of some of the worst uh, lies that were made, um, that were put in the public domain. The great, the great damage was done over what will happen the day after we vote. Not, not about the long term, not about the, 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 the positioning of Britain inside or outside Europe or anything like that. And um, I feel that there was a great failure on the part of uh, the BBC, ITN, uh, uh, Sky News, organisations which are, are legally bound to be balanced, but we're not e legally bound to be balanced between lies and truthfulness. And I know how hard it is. Uh, to make it interesting to people. But if you don't make it interesting to people, then they won't know about it. And then it'll be possible, as, as we saw during the referendum campaign, for all sorts of people on both sides to lie their heads off about it. I do think that it's really, really important for us to rethink how we... We, I, I mean, all the newspapers, but, but particularly television and radio, covered uh, the, the referendum campaign. I felt that we should have had a, a panel every night uh, on our main news on the BBC. We should have had a panel of um, respected figures who would have a, a lot of background, a, ba a lot of backup, a research backup, and we would have looked at these things day after day, the, 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 the claims that were being made. The BBC did indeed have a fact-checking um, uh, um, section of its, uh, on its online service, but um, it didn't get enough, viewer, enough readers, viewers, whatever, people didn't, didn't check it out uh, as much as, as they should have, I think. Um, and we should have we should have made sure that it was much much wider, and that was our fault, I, I, I think, because we are obliged legally to be balanced uh, between different political ideas and different political viewpoints. Um, that enabled uh, um, all sorts of people on both sides. Uh, to lie their, their heads off about, about what would happen, what might happen uh, if we left or if we didn't leave the, the EU. Um, so, uh, I, if, but I would say if people looked to, to, to television and radio uh, for a clear guidance about what to do, well, we certainly didn't give them clear enough guidance about the lies that were being told. I suspect that if people had known uh, the facts and had judged in a more balanced way, uh, the outcome would have been a bit different, yes. We let our viewers and listeners down.